A very good evening and Om Shanti to all of you listeners. Welcome back to your own channel. Seek the soul, the truth lies within. And here we're going to talk about another truth, a blessing given by the almighty authority of whom we call it as God or Jehovah or Allah or Khuda or whatsoever you want to call him. But he is the source and the almighty authority of divine knowledge or wisdom. So let's see what is the wisdom which God is trying to throw on us today, a light which he's going to throw us on. Baba says, may you set yourself on the seat of a master almighty authority and easily and constantly remain a karma yogi. How do we do that? What is a master almighty authority? Almighty authority is God who shines light over our intellect. We can fall for that shine just like a moth who comes and falls onto the light or we can be somebody who runs away from the light or the divinity. So God says if you fall for the light then you become master almighty authority and you will become a karma yogi. That means you do your karmas on the basis of remembrance of godly laws and on the remembrance on the basis of remembering God. So then God says when you set some machinery it could be a factory machinery ice cream making, biscuit making, chocolate making machinery once it has been set it will continue to function automatically you just have to feed it and the end result will be ice cream, would be a biscuit or could be anything in the same way once you set yourself in the stage of a master almighty authority just like a father gives or wills his property or gives certain job or gives certain work to do to his child and he gives away the knowledge of how to do it then that child becomes a master authority or the almighty authority of what the physical father has given him to do and the means which has been given to the child to do. Similarly over here, what does God give us? God gives us wisdom of thinking, of seeing, hearing, talking, and acting. So that is the authority which God gives us. And once we work on that, we become a master or mighty authority. And God says, in the stage of, once you set yourself in the stage of a master almighty authority, words of weakness will never emerge. So what can that authority be? We generally use certain words which make us feel that we are entitled to godly right, to godly peace, to godly happiness. What can be those titles or we call them as swaman in Hindi? or self-respect or self-affirmations. I am a master, knowledgeful soul. I am a pure, a divine soul. I am a kind, honest soul. I am a powerful soul with the power to tolerate, with the power to accept, with the power to change, with the power to discern, with the power to make a decision, with the power to face situations and people. And there's so many other self-respect or affirmations which we learn at Brahma Kumaris which make us an authority of the almighty knowledge. Then God says, then every thought, word and action will automatically, just like the machinery, continue to emerge according to that setting. Now the setting gets bad. We sometimes have to face our old bad karmas. It could be a relationship karma, could be a financial karma, could be a health karma. And the setting goes bad, just like a machinery goes bad. So our mind also goes into the negative cycle. Again, God says, do the setting. Come back to meditation. Remember me. Meditate on me. Take your knowledge back. And then you can reset your mind. Then what will happen is, then the thoughts and the words and the actions will not deter from the direction, which is the right direction. And God says, that setting will easily and constantly make you a karma yogi. So once that setting is there, what we have to think, what we have to talk, what we have to act as on the basis of godly guidance, then God says automatically that setting will become a habit. So mind is not a machinery, but mind can be made or can be set like a machinery to think right, talk right and act right. So then Baba says, and constantly make you a karma yogi. 
an easy yogi somebody who is an easy remembrance of god who is always doing his karma on the basis of karma on the basis of what is the guidance or the law of karma what god has taught us what is the right thinking what is the right way of talking what is the right way of acting and then god says you become an easy yogi who constantly stays in the stage of being free from impure thoughts now this is a setting which has to be done on a daily basis every day we do certain karmas which have an effect on our psyche have an effect on our thoughts have an effect on our energy level mood level we do certain karmas which uplift us we do certain karmas which change the setting or let's say they disturb the setting how do you set that you can learn at brahma kumari's godly spiritual university which may be next door to you in your own city do visit it and learn this free knowledge of divinity and how to make your mind more stable and do that setting have a blessed good night om shanti